y'all? Trucker's Life, and we back. I got the grill going out front. Just sitting in my, in my driver's seat. Getting my dinner started. Jeff, we doing the grill again, y'all. We, You know I'm loving this grill, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all know. <laughs> but I got the baked potatoes on already. Grab the butter back in real quick. Yep. Got the butter right here. right here but you know what I'll put it right here on the side we're gonna do it real simple today you gotta know I'm in, still in my loaner truck but we got the kinders to blend put some that in there we got people driving by looking at the grill like always I don't know how I do this y'all ain't surprised no more I know Y'all probably getting bored of me. Uh, still ain't getting no likes and comments, y'all. Come on, let's grow. Let's grow. Let's do this. But tell me, what y'all think about that, uh, about that day in the life yesterday? We, oh, we got the chicken bouillon going on the asparagus, too. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna put that up there. Cover that up. I'll take this poke chop. This poke chop. And of course, y'all know what, what I'm using. Using that jungle chopping board. We got the blend going down. Use because it's going to get that uh, smoke flavor, so it don't make sense to add all these extra seasonings to it. Just flip it over and do the same on this side. There we go, that's it. That's it. That's it. Food is seasoned. Oh, no, it's not. I got it open. Wait for the shrimp to thaw because we're doing shrimp with it too. Shrimp, I don't know how I feel about my shrimp. They're still frozen, but they're going to cook. I might even cook them with the shell on just to show y'all something different. Because with the shell on, they, oh man, that flavor comes out so fire, y'all. Do it this, do it with these, uh, this, this pork chop, the seasoning that fell on the edges. Roll it in the seasoning so I get the seasonings on all sides. All sides getting seasoned. All sides seasoned. I'm gonna let that sit there for a minute. I'm gonna wait for the for the potatoes to get closer to done because that meat with the with the wood I'm using on the grill I use I'm using mesquite wood today. I use the apple wood as a tender just to the um, bark off of it. Used it as a tender timber tender whatever you want to call it whatever it's called to get the fire going and it's. I'm using the truck next to me. I'm using the reflection so I can see my grill. Because <laughs> it's a black truck, so I can see the smoke coming off the grill. With the baked potatoes on. And we, we cooking it. We cooking, y'all. Yeah, we got 
line drivers going by just like, damn, smart motherfucker got a grill. Yeah, y'all see. Hey, I'm gonna tell y'all right now, that steak last night was banging. That motherfucker was fire. But that's why I don't trust people because motherfuckers will get mad and jealous and want to kick over the grill and do some stupid shit. And I, 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 I broke the world. You feel me? I broke yeah, that part. But it's gonna be an easy night tonight. It's only five or six o'clock. It was five thirty when I stopped. I instantly jumped up, got the grill going. When I get in my other truck, cause man, they getting close to having my other truck ready with the three prongs ready to work, ready to use my smokeless grill and my seven to one. I missed some things, y'all. Imagine me having a smokeless grill. A regular grill, <laughs> my 71, and all my other things I got. And actually, I might uh, upgrade my smokeless grill. Hey, y'all, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the content, y'all. But I might uh, upgrade my smokeless grill to one of those one and those 18 and ones or 12 and ones, whatever they're called, by the same people that made my smokeless grill. I might upgrade it and put it in my other truck because it's not that expensive but it's just like I said before this company gonna pay with my last company did but you know what my bosses are amazing my bosses for this company are amazing and uh that's pretty much it but hey truck is life and we'll be back and then when you got the grill going and they got a uh, Popeyes and uh, Pizza Hut here at this truck stop. I'm over this shit. Overeating junk, you know what I mean? Like I've been eating a lot of like pop tarts and I got those little uh, rice cracker mixes that I eat. And uh these are uh, cheese crackers. These right here. I got these right here that I eat a lot of. I've had this for over a week and obviously you see it ain't open. But yeah, I'm trying to change shit up, man, because I'm... I know I'm big, but I'm healthy. I don't want to get no bigger. I know it's hard to, with all the shit I got in here, it's hard to exercise and do all that like other drivers I hear do. Or they get gym memberships because they get off every, they don't live on their trucks like I do. But hey, truckers are going to eat good. That's why I don't fry my food. I don't, yeah, I use butter. I use plenty of butter. But it's better than whipping all that oil and yeah it's whatever at least butter on my asparagus and my broccoli and shit like that my vegetables mainly but I get my protein from the pork or the beef or the chicken I might actually grill some chicken tomorrow that might be what I do tomorrow make some chicken I don't I'm kind of trying not to do the rice and the meat pasta thing. That's why I brought my potatoes out of my other truck. And I'm going to start using those more. But this one is just going to have, I'm going to put this cheese, this jalapeno and habanero cheese on it. This is just habanero and, uh, jalapeno and habanero jack. That's it. Monterey jack with jalapenos and habaneros in it. And it's delicious. I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and garlic on the potatoes with some, with the cheese. Put put it back on so that cheese can melt on it. And go from there. But hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Truck will be back, baby. All right, y'all. We about to hook this shrimp up. Grab the butter back out of here. I'm trying to let it firm up a little bit. There we 
but it firmed up just enough. Ooh. I got more butter, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Be happy. Oh, sorry. My headset ain't even on my, on my ears. My bad, y'all. Like I said, I don't have all my seasonings. I was trying to do like a... Like a chili shrimp. I left my damn crushed red pepper. Ooh, you know what? I'll be back. Let me go see if they got some inside. There's, there's Pizza Hut here. Let me go see. I'll be right back. All right, uh, got me some crushed red peppers. <laughs> yeah. Grab the garlic real quick. I'll be right back. All right, we back. We go get the shrimp finished. Too well started, I should say. We got the blend. Of course, it's got soft pepper and garlic. We go put that in here. Good amount. You gotta remember those have shell on them, so you got to use a little bit more seasoning. More. Uh, garlic salt. That's good. And now, with the pressed red pepper jar. I'm going to use two packets. There's two packets of it. Yeah, the guy next to me has been watching me the whole time cooking. I was setting up my stuff. He asked me right now, he goes, man, what are you making? That's, I never thought of that. Shit. Asparagus, well, pork chop, well, it's actually a pork porterhouse. Yeah, saw the beef yesterday. That was the beef version. This is a pork version today, y'all. Thick cut. It's about an inch, inch and a half thick. Nice thickness to it. Ignore that. That's my GPS and a little bit of lemon juice. Lemon juice going in. There we go, that's good. That way when that butter melts, it soaks up all that flavor. Guys. We might have to switch something around real quick. Y'all see I'm still in the front seat. I might have to add more wood to the fire. Except I'm gonna add some add some apple wood to give it a little sweetness without the tanginess. So we'll be back, y'all. Hey y'all, uh, we're about to go put this beautiful pig cut pork pork porterhouse on. Hey no. I'm gonna show y'all something real quick. Take you off the charger. Hold on. This might take a little bit. Oh shit. Here we go. I got a butcher block in one hand. Right there. I got the phone in the other hand. Y'all see I'm in the dark. Right here, y'all. Oh, let me leave the door open because I got to check the potatoes before I put the pork on. I got to make sure the potatoes are soft. Ready for the pork yet? But hey, we know what we gotta do to 
you good. Yeah, feel me. Oh, this motherfucker stay clean, y'all. I'll make sure my shit look nice. I might have Gatorade bottles. That's because sometimes, as a truck driver, Gatorade bottles is a piss bottle. 95% of the time, that's what we use for it. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not going to lie to you. You know that. That's why y'all fuck with me, because I'm, I'm too honest to, for anybody. Really, that's why I'm always by myself. That's my ex-wife. I'm too honest. I'll tell you what you don't want to hear a lot of times. Y'all probably don't hear shit I'm saying because I forgot my damn headset is still connected. Here we go. I'm back, y'all. If y'all didn't hear me, the big potato's not ready. The small one is close. So... I'm going to wait for about 5-10 minutes. I moved the potatoes around. I'm going to wait about 5-10 minutes. And I'm going uh, to put the pork porterhouse on. This is what it looked like, y'all. Uh, oh, baby. Check it out, though, baby. Check it out, though, baby. Yeah. That is a pork porterhouse. I don't know what makes a porterhouse a porterhouse. This strip of meat right here is a filet. This right here would be the pork um, New York steak. That's what makes it a porterhouse. If it's got that much filet on it, that's a porterhouse. If they cut the filet off, say right here, and it goes like this, that's a T-bone. They don't make T-bones in pork. They don't make T-bones in pork, y'all. But at little meat lesson for y'all that's why they call a beef tenderloin or beef uh porterhouse for instance has y'all saw the porterhouse yesterday if y'all didn't go back to that video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the content but go back to that video you see that big ass filet on the side that's a filet mignon and that big fat ass piece that was in that was on the other side that is the new york steak if y'all didn't know that now you know and we'll be back. All right, y'all, y'all back. Turkey glass is back, baby. We're about to put this, this pork, shrimp, and asparagus back on the grill to finish dinner.
And they say hi to the people, y'all. Say hi. We on a live stream, but I'll holler at y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, we gotta go. All right, y'all, we gotta go flip this uh, porterhouse real quick. All right. I'm ready to eat. I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to eat. Shit. Some reason why do I keep getting muted? Do y'all hear me now? But this is what I'm cooking tonight. Look, the shrimp is done, baked potatoes, the pork chop, the asparagus. That's what I'm doing. And yes, I'm in a big rig. But look, hey, Mr. 45, what you think about that, bro? But look, ain't nothing around me but trucks. Hey, we do this, y'all know. Look at that. Look, look, look. Check it out. I'm going to put my camera on y'all. Look at that. Woo-wee! And if y'all don't believe me, look. Right in front of my truck. Hey, y'all, tell YouTube what's up. Yeah, YouTube watching y'all. 
YouTube watching y'all, motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, Mr. 45. Let me take these off the grill. And I'm, I'll be back when I... Hey y'all hey, look, we plating up, y'all see it. All you gotta do is pull the skin down, the potato is exposed. Okay. If y'all think we fighting on here, man, we 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 too we too alpha to be fighting on the internet. So I'm about to. Putting the cheese on the baked potato, and I'm just gonna cover them so the cheese melts. Y'all yeah, see, we recording, we recording on the channel so they see it too. So y'all gonna be on my YouTube tonight. Hey, this TL fam, y'all truckers life family. You feel me? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover up this uh, plate right here real quick with an aluminum foil. I'll be right back. All right, man. I gotta move my chopping board. Huh? Cover it up so that cheese melts a little bit. <laughs> what happened? I'm trying to get you on that cheese can. On what? Man, that shit is good cheese, bro. Well, I can't say it's good cheese, it's decent cheese, okay? It's, it's decent cheese, bro. Don't hate. I don't make money like you. If you want to help support the channel, hey, if you want to help support the channel, cash at me at Trucker's Life 78. I'm goddamn broke, okay? Just because I'm a truck driver don't mean I make all this money. Yeah. That's that poor man shit. I'm bored though. I'm 
for it too. I just had to bail myself out of jail. No, I remember that. I, I, remember, I remember you telling us. But what I'm saying is, man, the company I work for, they don't pay us what we work. That's why I'm looking for a new job. This company I'm with, they really don't pay us shit. Shit, I'm trying to get a car back at the, um, the shop, man. I was over for 12 years. Shit, I'm trying to go back. I've been driving for man. seven. And this company I'm with, I guarantee you make more than me right off the rip. Where do you go? Where are you at? You on the West Coast? East Coast where? West Coast. Oh yeah? Best. Where you at? Where you at now? I'm up in Redding, California. Oh fuck, man. They don't never want to send us there. Shit, they sent us to upstate New York. They sent us everywhere. I'm a Cali baby. Yeah, I'm about to <laughs> you, you from Cali, but you a Dallas fan. Come on. Where do you think they have their training camp at? My family, okay, I put it like this, Mr. 45, so you understand how I became a Cowboys fan. Growing up, my family reunions were in Oxnard, California. Every summer, or every two summers, where the Dallas Cowboys training camp held at. California for real? In Oxnard, California, yeah, every year. I figured if they was Dallas Cowboys, why would they have a training camp in Dallas or in in Texas? Their training camps are in Oxnard every year. Really? And growing up when I was six years old I met Emmett Smith, Mike Lervin and Troy Aikman. Damn, that's a dream team right there. Why, team. why you think I became a Cowboys fan, bro? I'm and, and then when I was 11, I met Deion Sanders. Deion, Deion, huh? I got a question, Mr. 45. Answer me real quick. Because my cousin, he's a diehard Cowboys fan, too. He played in the league for 17 years. You ready? Have you ever heard of Steve Smith Sr.? No. He played 13 years for the Carolina Panthers as a wide receiver. Played his last three years with the Baltimore Ravens. No, that's my first cousin. Damn, that's what's up. Damn, hell yeah. He's up for the Hall of Fame in two years. Check him out. Nine-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro. All Sorry, I'm eating. I, I'm, I'm kind of hungry. I ain't ate all day. You know, I'm a fat boy. I got to keep my figure. I'm a short, fat Mexican. I love it. I got a weight problem. I can't wait to eat. I got a seafood problem. I see food, I eat it.
I'm a fat boy, shit. I ain't ashamed of it. Look, I made some, some shrimp today. Look at that. Mr. 45. With butter, some chili flakes, garlic, onion. I'm on a budget this week. I'm, I'm on a budget I too. Eat. I get the cheap shrimp. I don't get the expensive shrimp. Fucking sandwiches this week, dude. This is shit that was already in my freezer. Remember I told you the cheese was gonna melt? Look at this. The cheese completely melted. These ain't from a house, these are from a truck. I gave up my house so my kids have somewhere to live. And I can barely afford that right now, so when I get a potato, oh, I'm happy. Sorry, I got some uh, some Kinder's Kinder's a blend that has salt, pepper, and garlic in it. that too. But it don't taste good on baked potato. I've tried it before. The hot sauce or the, the uh, seasoning? This, I got them both. But you got to understand, I'm not in my actual truck. This is a loaner truck because, because my truck's in the shop. So I don't have all my seasonings in here. All my seasons is, is in my other truck. This is just what I can bring while I'm in this piece of shit.
Oh, shoot, I forgot I was recording. Hey, y'all, Trucker's Life. I'm sorry about that. I was interacting with people on there. But, hey, we out. Love y'all.